In full disclosure, I did have my oatmeal, so I can now have dessert, right? It's, it's good. It's second breakfast indeed. Welcome back. A quartet of dessert perfection. Coffee, chocolate, hazelnuts, and vanilla bean. Chef Lean Kim, assistant pastry chef from the Omni Homestead Resort in Hot Springs, is here with her coffee mousse made with Madagascar vanilla bean and roasted hazelnuts. Uh, we not only welcome you to Virginia this morning, we roll out the red carpet. This is beautiful, oh, Thank you, Jessica. It is phenomenal. But... I never, I don't know that I, well, I shouldn't say never, but plating this at home might be a little far-fetched for me, but maybe we can adapt this to be a, a home recipe, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, good morning, everyone. Yeah, yes, thank of course. you. Show us how it's done. <laughs> so, well, first of all, good morning, everyone. My name is Lynn Kim. I'm the pastry chef at the Omni Homestead Resort in Hot Springs, Virginia. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make the coffee mousse, chocolate mousse, and I'll show you how to plate as well. So we can learn this Absolutely. art, because not Absolutely. only is this an art to make it, but then put pre presenting it like this is phenomenal. You know what? I'm going to walk you through it. Sweet. All right, let's do it. Okay. So first, what I'm going to do is I have everything scaled out. What we have is yolks, and I'm going to put yolks and sugar together. And you've shared this recipe with us, too. Yes. Thank you for that. So we'll post it on our website later today. So I'm going to whisk so the yolks and the sugars are well Combine. How many yolks, uh, Lee? How many yolks? I go by grams. Oh, grams. Okay. Right. Okay. So get so. out your metric rulers because <laughs> you're going to need them. <laughs> I pre-scaled everything and the recipe's online. Okay. Okay. Excellent. So pre-scaled means everything's measured and in place yes. so you're not fussing and looking while you're in exactly. the middle of doing all of exactly. it. Exactly. Okay. Should so, I stir this? this is, yes. Okay. okay. This is I'll a cream out. that I'm going to basically do a creme anglaise. What creme anglaise is get the hot cream and put the yolks and sugar together and I'm not going to pour everything at once because it's going to shock it and make scrambled eggs and we don't want that. No, we made scrambled eggs earlier in the show but in this <laughs> dish that's not what we want, right? So you have to do it gently then and basically introduce yes. it. Yes, so what we call it in culinary term is called tempering the yolks. Okay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take some of the, I'll put this right here. And this is cream. Yes, heavy cream. I'm going to pour a little bit of cream into the yolk, and I'm gonna whisk it together. So make sure that this temperature and this temperature is not too extreme. It's not, gotcha, one's not cool and one's exactly. not mega warm. Mm -hmm. So then I'm going to pour this back to the pot. Wow, I can tell you've done this a time or two. This part would make me very nervous. And I make sure we have all the yolks and sugar inside. Waste not, want not, yeah. put it all in there. So the next key thing is to use a spatula to stir around because when you whisk it, it's going to incorporate too much air and that's oh. what we don't want. Okay, because this mousse ends up being uh, dense, very rich and dense. Mm -hmm. You've already made me super relaxed, Lean, because I would have been like whisking and, and to, so worried about scrambling those eggs. The key thing is having everything scaled out before and you just work right into it. Okay. Okay. So you introduce those together, and now they're kind of coming to the same temperature. We haven't scrambled anything, so no. that's a win. So you don't want to stir too fast. You just want to make sure that this is getting well-tempered all the way around. Okay. Okay. So then well, I'm going to use my thermometer. Mm -hmm. And again, everything is in place. <laughs> that's important. The important, also the important thing is to have everything measured out and temperature check. Okay. So even though I've done this many times, every time I make it, I always have to check the temperature. Right. You so, could, yeah, you could tell just by looking at it if it's spot on probably, but check yes. the temperature. So in pastry, I do a lot of Celsius. Um, so we want to increase this temperature to 85 Celsius. In Fahrenheit, it will be 185. Okay, so it's 153 right now, right now so we're uh, we're working on it. We're Is this a uh, candy thermometer or just a regular digital regular. thermometer? Regular. Okay. You can find it at any market. So want. this has to come up to 185. You said. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Uh, Fahrenheit. Yes. And then once that's up, then we get to introduce it to the chocolate. And we're exactly. Okay. And the reason why we want to cook it to 85 Celsius or 185 Fahrenheit is to make sure the eggs are fully cooked so it's not um, for sanitary reasons. Right, right. Make sure everything's 
copacetic there, I understand. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that comes together. And still, you keep stirring, but not, not with the whisk, not over stirring, yes. because you want to make sure there's not too much air incorporated. Mm -hmm. Great. So we're almost there. Okay. So I'm going to take it off. And it's gotten mm -hmm. a little thicker. Yes. Okay. And then I'm going to pour this over Excellent. this chocolate. And the heat from that shows the chocolate who's boss. So then I'm going to use my whisk to stir a little bit gently and make sure the eggs, the heated cream eggs are melting the chocolate. And Lean, so. you've just recently started calling uh, Hot Springs Virginia home, right? I understand you made a big move. Yes, I did. I actually came from Las Vegas. Excellent. Uh, we have a whole new culinary team. Our executive chef is from Caesar's Palace and our executive sous chef is from Bellagio, oh. and I come from Aria. Okay. So we have the Vegas crew. Wow. Did you all know each other when you were out there or meet when you got here? Uh, we all know each other. Yeah. Right. Talent runs in tight circles. I think that's <laughs> what I understand. Okay. So this is all coming together. That didn't take long at all nope. for that to melt. And look at how beautiful it is. So it's melting nice. But it's okay to use your whisk now? Yes. Okay. So you want the chocolate to melt and make sure it's fully melted. Beautiful. Now you haven't, we talked about the coffee, the hazelnuts, all of this, the Madagascar uh, mm -hmm. vanilla bean, all of that comes after you've done all of this. You didn't have to steep anything in the cream yeah. or, okay. Patience, Jessica, she's going to get to the mousse. I know it. <laughs> so then now I'm going to add the coffee extract, which is scaled out right here. I'm going to add it on here. Now, is this an extract that, that I would find as a specialty item, sort of like you'd find um, vanilla, or did you make Actually, that? these days I could find these um, extracts and coffee liquor at any market. Okay. So. Oh, it smells it's so nice. wonderful. And, and Lean, tell us, why do chocolate and coffee pair so well together? Well, I think the chocolate, the sweetness of chocolate and coffee has a little bit of acidity and they balance well each other. It's like uh, cheese and wine. Mm. You like cheese and wine? Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so then I semi whip the heavy cream okay. right here and I'm going to get my spatula. Again, so. everything's in place here. <laughs> and now, okay, so that goes right in. So. Another key important thing is you don't want to dump everything in here because cream is cold and this is a little bit warm, hot, so it's going to shock it. So what you do is you take a little bit and you're going to fold it in. And important here when you talk about folding and using the right tools, mm -hmm. it's all for a purpose because you've whipped that cream to introduce so much air yes. into it. You don't want to scare it all out of there by overbeating it here. Exactly. So when I add the cream to the chocolate ganache, what I do is I break it to three stages. So first time I do a little bit of cream and now I'm going to be more hefty on the cream. Now, Lean, this looks like this would make quite a few uh, of these desserts. I made a large scale okay. of <laughs> Make sure everybody has room for dessert. That's right. Okay. If you were doing this at home, you could make these maybe in your own uh, dessert cups. Exactly. And if you're having a big party or small party, you can always adjust to the recipes. Adjust the sizes. Right. So, okay. So now so we have about a minute left, just so you know where we are. Okay. And uh, you're putting all of that goodness in there. So. And still just being super gentle with that fold mm -hmm. in. So I go from middle to outside and fold it in. Okay. So after this cream is well incorporated, what we do is we fill it into one of those silicone molds. Oh. We pipe it and we freeze it. How freeze easy it. is that? So you, when you say pipe it, you'll put it in one of these and then squirt it right in? Yes. And freeze it? And freeze it. So these Unless are almost frozen? It's frozen, but when you freeze it out, because it's easier to pop it out from the mold. Okay. Do we have enough time to show me how to put it on a yes. beautiful plate Let's make like it that? quick. Okay. So I'll I have, switch sides so you can okay. do it over here. I'm super curious to know how you get that beautiful chocolate. Well, let's show you right there. It's chocolate the sauce. Of the chef revealed. And you have the turntable. Oh. So you're going to keep turning and put this in the middle. 
Look at that. that. And you're using that same uh, chocolate mousse base? The, this chocolate recipe is actually online as well as chocolate sauce. Oh. So. Yum. Okay, so that's the base, and then everything else you just place as you'd like. Right, and when I plate, I go with my feelings and my moods. So sometimes I want to put it all over, or sometimes I want to put it in the middle, or just however Well, it's I want beautiful. It. Thank you so much, Thank you Lee. so much. And welcome to Virginia. It's wonderful. Thanks for sharing the recipe. Thank you. This is beautiful. We'll have the recipe on our show website by early this afternoon at WTVR.com slash BTM. I'm going to do a little quality control. Is this please, the taste testing please, fork? Please. Oh, look at that. We'll be right back with more Virginia this morning.